Hello and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Binky B, and this will be the second game in this Modern Master Strat with Blue Red, Damp and Thought. And unfortunately, I can't keep this hand. One more land, and I would probably keep. Ooh, this hand is really slow. I think I keep it. I don't want to go to five. We we already faced like the fastest deck, so. Okay, this could be a rebel deck and that could be bad too. Let's play island and next turn play a mountain I guess and then another island. Okay. We could play the reach through mist to pump up. It depends what he does. Salt with recluse. Yeah, I think you just play the reach through mist. I mean, it's a really good card for me to have access to, but this way I can logic not for two if I need to, and uh, if I don't have to, I can thirst for knowledge. And we'll start off by taking one. Saltfield Reckless is okay. Meadowboon. Yeah, I don't really like that. You have to pay one more for that. It by itself is not horrible for me, but um, it enables future creatures to just be too much for me to handle. And he might have some combo with it, and that's not good either. Sure. That's fine. Let's play a Thirst. Discard Mountain. Mountain. Another Dampen Thought. So. I think I just suspend and uh, play Sudden Shock on the Nantuka Shaman. The, the sole reason he played it is that he doesn't have anything better to do. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill that. Can't do anything about it. Now I can start doing stuff. Fortunately, I think I have to... Oh. Does that change anything? I think you just want to cast the pedals. The thing is that you want to have it to splice onto forever, but without lands, I can't do that. Uh, no, I would like to draw those. And I think you just play this. Yes. Now I feel really good about this. Now I can play Glacial Ray, splice two dampens. No, the fifth land. This is a cloud, it could be bad. It's nothing. Right now we have this. But this game pretty locked up. It will be hard to lose. How? Isn't that a pro? Oh, I should remember the name. Oh well. Sure. Fair enough. Since I also have the pyrite spellbomb, this should be pretty easy. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I was gonna say this looks like the banned value deck almost. Like, um, sure, we can play that. You wanna have. Can I win? Eight. No, next turn. That plays like some creatures that are good, like on the defense. Some creatures that are really good on the offense. Uh, Gleam of Resistance, good to know about. That's still fine. Guess it doesn't know about second Glacial Ray, but now you're just gonna die. Yep, I have all the dampened thoughts. Boom. And I can mill for 12 next turn, so. There you have it. 
just doing the math and see if we should scoop now or not. I don't think it's worth revealing the rest of your deck. Alright. Knight of the Reliquary, Duskwood, Path. So you're probably just splashing blue for um, Muldrifter and maybe something else. Yeah, we even get to hit if we want to. And there's the scoop. Okay. Bant good stuff. Bant good stuff. No. Don't think so. I think I'm pretty pleased with the deck as it is. I'm just gonna submit it. I could bring in like one relic to mess with Knight of the Reliquary and stuff. But I'm not sure if Knight is fast enough. And it also has to be a, a land in the yard already. Otherwise my sudden shocks and stuff just wrecks him. So let's see. This could always be someone just taking the nickname, of course. It would be fun if there were if it was the real deal. Then I'm sure he would appreciate my work here. Dampen thoughts. Yeah, it's it's a good card when you get it to work. Another what matches zero zero. Looks like he has a pretty great sideward plan, judging by the time it takes. What could he have? I guess he could sideward in like more blue and a couple of islands. But that, I mean it's it's not that bad, but it's not that good either. I mean, if I have control of the game, I'll win basically no matter what. Even if it takes two or three turns more. And you also open yourself up to get mana screwed, which is not not optimal, I guess. There we go. And yes, in fact, he did sideboard in a lot of cards. Can we keep? I need the red mana, and this hand is pretty good. Okay. No bone splitter, that's good. Just cast that. I'd rather cycle the spell bomb at this point. One red knight can reach through mist and glacial ray, and that's really good value. This might also prevent him from playing a two drop. Nope. Armor scout. Just cycle this now. I think I do. If I f hit Vivid Crag, I would be sad. Okay. So next turn I can reach to the Mist, Glacial Ray, the Armor Scout. There's an expanse. That either means he has uh, a blue card he would like to play or um, just pass. I might as well do it now, I think. Uh, do you have a, like a spell status sprite? Uh, I really don't think you do, but and I could sudden shock it as well. Um, but I think you'll get value at some point. There's the Imperious Source, and that's what I was a bit afraid of. So what can I do? I can play Ether Spell Bomb. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Ether Spell Bomb and pass, and hope that he doesn't have another big thing. And I'm not gonna bounce it now. I'm gonna bounce it at the end of turn, so I can counter it on the way down again. Send 
Finns det en enlistment? Det var en account där. Hmm. No. Alright, so now I have Logic Knot and I have 3 mana, so it still doesn't really add up, but that's okay. I think it can beat the tokens. I really hope so. It would be better if it was a 2 2, obviously, but. Place it again. Hmm. So I can play Desperate Ritual, Splice Dampen, then I have 4 mana. Then I can play Dampen, Splice Glacial Ray. Then, I'm, then I've lost a Dampen. Ultimately I can logic not this, but then I have nothing for the Imperia source. Uh, sure it's okay. I think that's my plan though. Yeah. Yeah, this night bound in silence was pretty bad to mail, but right. Uh, cast and splice and glacial ray a token. That was a pretty bad rule now. I think you have to keep the glacial ray in hand. I'm just gonna take three. Again. Uh, crap, he's gonna win with the tokens. That that sucks. If I logic not that, I have nothing to kill Imperiosaurus with. I guess I'm at the same same stage. Another land. Not really what I wanted. So I'll have to take three again, hope to draw an arcane spell. Card like Molten Disaster would be so good in this deck. There's the Imperiosaurus and no. Alright. Bit flooded, but that's okay. What can we do about that? Relics are probably coming in just because of sense enlistment. And we can remove Ephemeron because it's bad and Research is pretty bad. Do we bring in anything else? I don't think so, this is fine. So yeah, I wouldn't have won that game even if he didn't brought in that many cards and I wouldn't have brought in two relics if it wasn't for the fact that they cycle and are pretty good with thirst for knowledge so that plan worked out well for him if he had if he didn't have the enlistment or instead just smashed down Imperiosaurus again I would have probably won that game War Marshal isn't even that great about against the enlistment. It trades for one and a half of it for basically the same mana. Still zero zero in that game. Interesting. Uh, yes, I would like to play first. <sighs> How good is this hand? Let's say I hit a land right off the bat. 
a cycle this it does not land then it becomes pretty good but if I don't it's horrible if I missed my second land drop even if I do hit my second land drop I need to hit my third I think I have to mulligan unfortunately enough and I gotta mulligan again and I will keep this so this may be a very short game the seven card hand was uh, that's not good the seven card hand was sketchy but it had the potential at least this hand does not have the potential that much I think it is draw there's no real reason to um, do anything else sure that one I can at least kill yay I think you just have to take the damage. At least that's what I feel. And there it is again. Can't really do anything about it. Alright, let's kill it. There's the pedals that I was hoping for. Is that thing coming in? No, alright. Uh God. Yes. Doesn't matter. This is not a good time to break on Pedals of Insight. And this one again. Oh, Penumbra Spider. Well, that I can live with. That also means that it has something bigger to play. I'm going to save that spell bomb for the Bailoth. Uh, no, I'd like to draw them actually. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pass. But I'm losing grip of this game very fast. You can probably replay the Bailoff. At least I'll get to remove that stupid. Uh, uh, enlistment, but uh, it might be too late anyway. Yeah, probably is. Mountain is not really good enough. What can I draw? Let's say I play Thirst and have four mana. Well, I guess I can play Thirst first. Peer land land. right so we have a plan I guess we will take nine <laughs> yeah that, that seems good I will take nine go to two be forced to deal with everything he has all right So the electrolyze I just have to think here. The electrolyze can take out the two kithkins. Then I have four mana left. That's not enough to kill the bailoff. Uh, I can take out one kithkin now. Take eight, go to three. Then I untap, play peer, splice. Use the glacial ray. That's still not enough to kill the bail of anymore. I can pair. What can I find that is cheap and good? I could find a torrent of stone. All right. That's basically my only out. Finding at least one torrent of stone. So it's pretty slim. Well, there is a torrent of stone. I would love the reach through mist too, but I need a torrent of stone. It's not even certain it will work anyway. So let's see. I'll start off by 
let's say I can I can electrolyze Kithkin plus Bailoth, five mana left, play Glacial Ray on the second Kithkin and Torrent of Stone the Duskwood Bailoth. And then I will have three mana left. But I can Torrent of Stone, Glacial Ray, Torrent of Stone again if I want to. Okay. Pretty unlikely that this would work out the way I wanted to, but oh yeah, I have to pay three. Does it still work? Yes, and I don't need more blue. I guess if I draw, yeah, okay. If I draw logic knot, now I do seven shock, right? And then I have to. Yeah. Cast this on the Kithkin. Yeah, cast this on the Kithkin. Pay two. Splice this. And that will be all. And if he has anything, then it's just over. And it does, alright. Test of faith on the bailoff. Hmm. Is there anything I can do about it? That's what I'm thinking. I can play. The thing is that the Penumbra Spider comes back. I can play, I can let it resolve, play Glacial Ray, Torrent of Stone again. Yeah, but I just die anyway, it becomes 7. Because I can't kill it next turn, let's see, I let that resolve. So this doesn't matter, but I'm a mana short, basically. No, this this was wrong. Crap. All right. Uh, it doesn't matter. I was gonna glacial ray. Glacial ray to prevent the damage, but I guess it wouldn't have worked out the way I wanted anyway. So mana short. All right, I had another worldly journey too. All right. So it was close. We almost did it. And by almost, I mean we almost didn't die. So I don't think we could have done anything else. We could have gone for the reach through mist, but I needed a power of Torrent of Stone. Uh, there's Pyrite. No, none of those cards would have done anything. I could have waited to his turn, obviously. Um, uh, that would have at least prevented the otherworldly journey, but... Alright, thanks for watching. I'll bring you something else next time.